Why KDP categories is kind of a point of a confusion for so many. In today's video, you will discover why choosing the right KDP categories is so important and how choosing the right categories can increase your sales and how to choose the right categories using a free software. Welcome everyone, my name is Agnes Glogowska and I'm a content creator in money making niche. Amazon platform is one of my favorite ways of making money online, probably because there are so many opportunities on Amazon. And KDP books is the topic that I love talking about. I know that there is a great confusion in relation to choosing the right KDP categories. So many questions I'm getting from you in relation to the right categories. So in today's video, Video, I will try to clarify all that matter about KDP book categories and to show you how you can increase actually impressions using the right categories and what is the best. I will show you how to speed up the process of finding get the right category for your KDP book using a free software. So let's get started by clarifying how categories are divided on Amazon. Categories are divided into so-called, I would say, two groups. One is BISAC categories and the other one are Browse categories. BISAC categories are the back-end categories that you find when you upload your KDP book and that are those two categories that you choose for your book. Why? Browse categories are the front end categories that you see when you browse on Amazon. Let's say you are looking for a science fiction book so you go into so-called search tree and find that category uh, and, and find that book in that search tree browse category. Browse categories are easier to find because they are those categories that you see when you go to Amazon and uh, you use the drop down menu from the left hand side and see uh, different products. Then uh, probably there might be a confusion if you think about, if you, if you go into that search, if you search, do your search in a browse categories on Amazon and then uh, and you find some bestsellers or high ranking books, KDP books, and, and then when you upload your KDP book, you are trying to find the same browse categories in those two BISAC categories. And usually what happens is that you can't find them. This is because they are two completely different categories. I assume that sometimes you may come to that kind of uh, conclusion that none of the BISAC, that means that those two back end categories are not the right one for your KDP book. And that's fine, it can happen like that as well. And sometimes it's maybe better to put it as unclassified and, and just uh, leave it, it as unclassified and that means use only, let's say, one category as unclassified. Uh, and then you can turn to KDP support with your ISN number of the book and ask them to add your 
book into other categories that you found among browse categories that are the front end categories. I will show you in a second how to do it and how to find proper categories for your book among um, those browse categories on Amazon. Another great thing about those browse categories and asking Amazon to add your book into additional categories is that you increase visibility of your book on Amazon. Of course, of course, in this case, more means more, more means better. And the more categories, sometimes the better, but you must definitely stick to the point and make sure the categories you use for your book are relevant because there is a lot of problem going on about listing your KDP books in the wrong categories. First of all, I want to tell you that you are allowed to list your book, KDP book, in up to 10 categories on Amazon. So already you have to back and buy sack categories and then you can still add your book into additional eight front and browse categories and that is literally free traffic that you will be bringing to your book definitely more eyes on your book and the more eyes means probably the same more sales what's best is a great trick of driving completely free traffic to your product in this case to your books if you already like what you see don't forget to put the thumbs up and subscribe for more new videos and don't forget to watch my other videos about kdp like those ones here that can give you some ideas for new content for new creation of kdp books but today we are talking about KDP categories, which are so important. And as I mentioned before, many, many sellers place their products, their KDP books in the wrong categories on purpose, or sometimes it is just because of their not sure how and which categories are proper for uh, that particular book that they are listing. The thing about Amazon categories is that some of them are more popular and some of them are less popular. And, and in some of those categories there is more competition than in others. And people maybe sometimes think that placing the book in a low competition category will help rank their books much quicker maybe they will have their books rank quicker in a search results however is it fully ethical i'm not sure um, i'm not really sure if you can be penalized by by placing really um books in a wrong category category than they should be i know you can go sometimes a little bit wrong because you may not fully be aware of that that you are placing the book in a wrong category but if you wonder how to find the right categories for your KDP book, then I strongly recommend using one free software. It is completely free and it can help you save a lot of time trying to find the right categories for your KDP book. I know probably some of you heard about kindleranker.com, however, uh, I'm not fully sure about this um, this software, this website. Uh, probably it is uh, great, um, but it doesn't allow you really to do much 
search for free, I was asked to provide my email. And that's why I would rather recommend something that I use on a daily basis, maybe not always in a hundred percent it's correct, but it is free software. And as I said, you can always guess, can always try a couple of different keywords to use before really choosing the category that you will think will be the best for your book. And here I have uh, some example to show you how I do my search. So let's say uh, I search for logbook for trackers and the search results is brilliant. It's only 388 search results. So that's a good keyword that you can rank for. There are a couple of great sellers, not all of them are KDP books. And here it is, the free category finder, KDP category finder. Let's try driver journal. And see here. Yeah, I would say probably this one would be a little bit better. Just probably driver journal will refer a little bit to a driving school kind of student or instruction or instructor. We try to find the category that is basically the most relevant to our KDP book. And as you see here, the relevance is medium. So probably if we go into deeper search of keywords, we would find even better keywords that would be 100% accurate and relevant to our KDP journal. But as I said, you can always go into the browse categories that are the front end on Amazon and search for those categories that you are interested into and then contact Amazon customer service to add your Asian to them. And right now I will show you how to do it. So basically what you do, you go to amazon.com and search for the categories from the browse categories, front end categories that you would like your book to be listed in. We are on amazon.com and down here we have department books. Then we look at let's say arts and photography so that's the new sub category and then let's say we think that drawing will be the best so we have a drawing category and then we go to like our pencil here we have so we have department books arts and photography drawing and pencil that's the best way to get your book into let's say that category of course it's only an example is to go into your PDP interface and at the top of your PDP interface you have the button ahead then you go to the very bottom and you can see contact us then you go into Amazon store and product detail page and press update Amazon categories and literally a message will pop up. You must provide your ASN number or ISBN number, marketplace, book format, category. So let's say you have your ISN number, then that it's paper, marketplace, so dot com book format that is paperback if it's hard hardcover you write hardcover and then a category so in our case that's the whole category path that you want kdp support you can do it with eight categories front and browse categories which you want your book to be listed in I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to put your thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and watch other 
videos on my channel about KDP books as you may get some new ideas and if you want to be updated as well with everything what I upload about KDP books don't forget to join my KDP Facebook group uh, the link is in the description where you can ask me as well direct questions and uh, don't forget to check on that free KDP category finder which by the way is a part of a great software that I use on a daily basis which is very affordable as it costs with the discount um, that you will use uh, from my affiliate link in the description it costs around eight dollars a month at least at the moment you will definitely make a great use out of that software if, especially if you are into creating different activity books or you you can basically use the ready-made interiors and the software for creating KDP book covers. Plus, it's a brilliant software to spy on your competition too. So make sure you check that software and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.